Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Prepping by Faith and I wanted to talk to you today about something that I feel impressed to share and that is God sees your heart. None of us are perfect people. We all make mistakes and we all try to do our best on a daily basis. But sometimes we may struggle with feeling like we aren't enough or that we can't do something because we might fail. I want to tell you today that God sees your heart and your intentions. He blesses those that step out in faith and those that say, God, here I am. I'm willing to do your work and be that vessel that you've called me to be. I will tell you that starting this channel has been nothing but miraculous for me. I have entertained the idea of creating one for about a year now, but I would always talk myself out of it because those feelings and thoughts would creep in that would tell me, there are so many people already talking about these things. What can you possibly have to offer? What can you possibly teach someone that they haven't heard elsewhere? There are so many people better than you, smarter than you, more capable, more charming, more talented, but God, he wouldn't let me just toss it aside. I was watching another Christian channel a couple of weeks ago, and she said this prayer for those who had tuned in. It was so powerful and profound. And she said, God, please bless these people, Lord, that have hearts for you, that want to step out, but are struggling right now. Help them to step out in boldness and start sharing the gospel and walk in that calling that you have for them. She said she knew there were some people out there that felt like they weren't good enough, but she prayed that they would step out by faith and do what they felt God was calling them to do. Wow, did that speak to me. I said, God, I'm going to do this for you. I am doing this by faith. I don't know what this channel is going to look like initially. I don't know what you want me to talk to them about. I don't know what I'm doing, God, but here I am. And Lord, if you'll lead me, Lord, if you'll teach me, I'm ready and willing to be that vessel that you've called me to be. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's been more challenging than I expected. I'm not going to tell you I have it all figured out. I am literally taking this day by day. I'm trying to listen to the Holy Spirit and share what he wants me to share. It's not an easy thing trying to figure out which content to bring you because you're all in different places in your prepping. Some of you may just be starting out while others of you may be more well seasoned than I am. In an effort to cover all of my bases, I'm going to bring you content on all levels and things that have helped me. Some of it may not be for you. Some of you may literally be here for the encouragement in the Lord, while others of you may be here to learn about just prepping without these sorts of conversations. I'm just going to tell you this is me. I'm going to bring you both the best way I know how. If there are things that you feel someone hasn't covered and you would like more information about, and it's something I feel that's in my wheelhouse and I can help you with, I will do my best to bring that content to you. This is as much your channel as it is mine, and none of us are ever done learning or growing, so please feel free to share your ideas, share your stories, share what you want to know. If I can't answer it, I will point you to someone else in the prepping community who I feel is more well-versed. That is what we do in a community. We share and we help and we uplift one another so that we can all become better versions of ourselves. I just want to share this with you today because I feel it's important that if we just step out in faith, if we just pray and seek God and ask what, what he wants us to do, what plans he has for us, he will make it very clear to you and you will walk in his favor and be blessed in a way you didn't think possible. He wants to be intimately involved in your life. Some people think he is not interested, but he tells us in Psalm 56, 8, you keep track of all my sorrows. You have collected all my tears in your bottle. You have recorded each one in your book. That is not something a God who doesn't care about you on a personal level would tell you. That is a God who deeply loves you and wants to have a more intimate relationship with you. So I just want to encourage you, if there's something that you feel like you've wanted to do for a long time, something that you've kept buried because you didn't feel good enough, please bring it to God. Lay it at his feet and ask him what he thinks about it. If you've been putting off a career change because you're afraid it's not the right time and the economy is not in a good place. If you've been putting off taking a class that you've always wanted to take because you feel like you've waited too long, you're too old, or you might fail, step out in faith. You will never do anything if you let the devil get into your head and talk you out of it. You might not feel like you have a calling to do something like this, and that's okay. We all have different gifts and talents, and God knows exactly what you should do with your life if you only ask him. 
if your heart is to do good and to help others, if your heart desires to find opportunities to witness about him, pray that he opens those doors. Pray that he presents those opportunities to you. God is not limited. I want to leave you with a scripture. Um, it's in 1 Chronicles 28, 9. For the Lord searches all hearts and understands every intent of the thoughts. If you seek him, he will let you find him. I want to encourage you to spend more time with him. Ask him what he wants you to do. Ask him what plans he has for your life. When we walk in his perfect will, there is nothing we can't do. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope this has been a blessing to you. And if it has, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless.